Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Sheikh Utman ibn Farouk with his video, What They Don't Tell You, Untold History of Christmas. Wake up. Up. I personally, coming from an Orthodox Christian background, am very well aware with the historicity of Christmas, the pagan influence on Christmas, the changing of dates especially as well. If you look into Roman Catholicism, you will see that Christmas is on the 24th to 25th of December. However, in Orthodox Christianity, it is on the 6th to 7th January. So there you can see already a discrepancy within the alleged date of of Jesus's birth. The two churches already do not agree what the real birth date is. Moreover, if you look into the 24th, the 25th, you will see that this was the winter solace. So this was a holiday for the pagans of the Roman Empire. And once the Roman Empire became Christian, they adopted Christianity as their state religion. They simply replaced their old holidays with new ones and renamed them. But let's see what the Sheikh has to say. With no further ado, let's have a look. وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِّمَّنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ الحمد لله وصلاة والسلام على رسول الله this is a message for everybody, but especially for Christians. Okay. Look, right now we have a season called the Christmas season, the holiday season, end of December. And there is a lot of festivities that are going to be going on in your churches. Your own priests and your own ministers are going to be celebrating Christmas. Sure. But ask yourself, if you're true to your religion, if you truly believe in God, in, in Jesus, in the Bible, if you really believe it, ask yourself, where did the 25th of December come from? Go back to your Bible, read it, search it on Google, look it up in apps. There is no reference to the 25th of December no. being the birth date of Jesus in the Zero. entire Bible, nor will you find it in any early Christian tradition. None, none whatsoever. So where did this come from? Right? If you don't want to take my word as a Muslim, look it up yourself. Here is a book. If they don't want to hear it from a Muslim, they can hear it from a Christian Orthodox. As I said in the beginning, even we as Christian Orthodox, we do not celebrate on the 24th or 25th. This date is not mentioned anywhere. We celebrate on the 6th and the 7th January. So next year is our celebration. The 24th, the 25th is taken from paganism. book that I'm going to share with you. It's an uncommon history of common things. This is a book written by National Geographic Society. It's not written by Muslims. It's not written by anybody with an agenda. Pure research. What they does might it have tell an agenda, you? nevertheless. It tells you that Christmas wasn't originally a part of the Christian calendar. It was not a part of Christianity. This is something no. that was brought in. What does it say? Nor is December 25th mentioned in the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible is any reference to this. In the 4th century, now think about that. That means from the time of Jesus for 300 plus years until the 4th century, the earlier disciples, apostles, followers of Jesus, the early Christians, none of them celebrated Christ Christmas. Jesus none of them accepted 25th Christmas. of December. It wasn't until the 4th century when Pope Julius I chose the date. Why? As a church holiday in large part. Why did he do it? Attempting to give a religious cast to Saturnalia festivities. Saturnalia, the pagan Roman festivals. There you go. He was bringing those pagan festivals into the Christian faith. Yep. And that's why 25th of December was already pre-Christian, a pagan festival. Yep. And him trying to attract the pagans, he brought this pagan festival into the religion. In the 4th century, before that, it was unknown to the Christian world. Now think about it. You today are being duped, you've been tricked, you've been fooled, you've been 
had you been conned into celebrating pagan festivals under the name of Christianity, Jesus is the reason for the season. These slogans that you find in your church are false. They're lies. Sure. Moreover, you're not only celebrating paganism, but you're celebrating consumerism as well, because this is what it morphed into. If you look into the holidays nowadays, nobody really understands the meaning. And I would even go so far to say that most people wouldn't even care for the explanation of Sheikh Uthman here, because they simply do not care for religion. They simply care for tradition. And therefore, as long as it feels good, everybody is happy. Christmas nowadays is not about Jesus. It's allegedly about love. It's about buying each other fancy gifts. Jesus has nothing to do with the 25th of December. He's got nothing to do with Christmas. He's Zero. got nothing to do with Santa Claus or reindeer or trees. In fact, if you were to go back to your own... I have to interrupt one more time because you mentioned Santa Claus and reindeers. It's quite interesting. Even on the Balkan where I am from and almost everybody is Orthodox Christian, nobody celebrated Christmas the way that we see it in the States. But now over the past 10 years, it has morphed as well. With the rise of social media, even the Balkan has changed. All of a sudden, I see people dressing up as Santa Claus. You see decoration with reindeers, etc., etc. I've never seen anything like that. 10 to 15 years ago through the push of liberalism pop culture now even those core holidays are changing in those countries on holy scriptures the bible that you profess to believe in and you went to jeremiah chapter 10 one onwards read and you will find that in the bible it's condemned what does it say for the customs of the people are futile for the one this is this is jeremiah 10 3 for the one who cuts a tree from the forest and the work of the hands of the workman with an axe. Now think about this, cutting a tree from the forest and then decorates it with silver and gold and fastens it with nails and hammers. What is it telling you? Does it sound Yeah, it's quite amazing how the Bible always debunks modern day Christianity. Familiar? Cutting a tree, bringing it in, decorating it, Christmas ornaments. What, what does all that mean in that same chapter? What does it say in verse 8? But they are altogether dull-hearted and foolish. A wooden idol is a worthless doctrine. This Christmas tree is being called a wooden idol. Think about that today. You go to Times Square, you go to anybody's house celebrating Christmas, they have this tree they cut from the forest, they decorate it as it's forbidden in the Bible. Then they use it. As an idol, they, they put their gifts underneath it. This is where you go to get your gifts. This is what you sit around and pray. It's not in the Bible. It's condemned in the Bible. Where's yep. Santa Claus in the Bible? Where's reindeer in the Bible? Where's eggnog? Where's any of this? <laughs> oh, this is innovations. Look, People if don't you care are anymore. true to your religion, if you really believe in God, then go and ask your ministers, ask your preachers, ask your priests, where did Christmas come from? Mm. Where's the 25th of December come from? Why are we celebrating a pagan Saturnalia Roman festival in our churches? Why? Wake up from the slumber. I call you towards Islam. And if you're a Muslim, you're watching this, then understand Islam is that religion that keeps us purity. So keep bid'ah out. We, we celebrate Eid al-Fitr, Eid al-Adha, the way it's in the Qur'an, the way the Prophet ﷺ has shown us. We don't innovate into the religion. If you're a Christian, you're watching this, come to Islam, a religion that sticks to its scripture, to the Qur'an, and what is authentically proven from the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, that doesn't bring pagan festivals. And this is the true religion, the religion of Islam that sticks. And whoever sees this, share this. Share this with Christians, share this with other people who are, who are being tricked into celebrating this pagan festival. Be a means of salvation, be a means of people waking up from worshipping in, in a way that is a pagan worship under the name of Christianity. May Allah protect us and guide us all. Jazakumullahu khairan. All right, guys, and this is already it for this video. As I said in the beginning, I'm very familiar with the historicity of Christmas. Therefore, this wasn't surprising to me at all. But as I said throughout the video, unfortunately, we find ourselves in a time where people simply do not care anymore. And this is really dangerous because if you look at people that care about their religion, then you present them with certain proofs, certain evidences. They might want to seek truth further in another religion. 
religion. But people that already gave up within their religions and they simply celebrate because of tradition, because of convenience, because it feels so good, those people are lost anyhow. They really do not care. I will never forget, I was 16 years old and I went to my Serbian friends. They celebrate a certain holiday about a particular saint within Christian orthodoxy. So we were sitting on the table and I asked the father of my friend, what are we really celebrating? And it wasn't cynical. It wasn't sarcastic. I simply wanted to know, I want to understand, why do we celebrate this particular saint? Who was he? Why do we celebrate him? What is the reason behind it? What did he do for humanity? What is his background? Why do we celebrate this man? And the father of my friend just looked at me with anger, man. And he told me, why do you ask me such a stupid question? Who cares? My grandfather celebrated this. My father celebrated this. So I'm going to celebrate this too. Meanwhile, he was sitting there drinking rakia, alcohol, and eating pork. And when I saw this man, I was really shocked because I genuinely wanted to understand why we celebrate this. What is the reason behind it? He didn't give me a reason. He simply showed me his arrogance and his ignorance. He showed me that he did not care. He wanted to drink and to eat. He couldn't think any further than this. He simply wanted to enjoy his day. And I understand. He had a tough job. Everything sucked in the new land that he came to. He left Serbia, came to Germany, and for him everything was terrible anyway, so he just wanted to relax and celebrate his holiday. But there was no depth in it. There was no reasoning behind it other than tradition. And this is when I realized, man, people do not care for the truth. They only care for convenience. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.